What's up guys, Twitchy here, hanging out today, playing some ARK. It's been about one year, um, actually over a year since I did my last YouTube video. Have been moved over to Twitch, been doing a lot of work on Twitch. Everything on Twitch has been going really, really good. Um, but I wanted to hop back in and do just a little something on YouTube. You know, just to, hey, I'm still alive, more than anything. But I think what I'm going to do is something that is, uh, basically we're just going to do Twitchy's builds. I think that's what we're going to do. So this is a build that I'm doing on VT streaming server. It's part of the VT nation. I'm um, out here. We basically spent a good bit of time on this uh, castle build. And I wanted to give you guys a tour, show you the build and go from there. So we're basically right now just chilling out in the main floor of the build. This is a rather large castle build. As you guys can see, we have several different rooms here on the main floor. Um, hopefully, I'm moving slow enough. I did take off the, I did take off the boots. Uh, but yeah, several different little rooms off of the main floor. If you look up, you can see all the way up into the third floor, and the fourth floor is a little closed off. So we're gonna do the inside first because it's like the least, uh, I guess. Appealing is, is the word we're gonna go with so we come up the stairs to the second floor. We still have our little you know little Nooks and crannies set up here uh, We still have several rooms off to the main floor. This is like eco's mod stuff. Uh, we hid the Tech in there we got our little kitchen set up with some guy refrigerators um, the mods pretty much that were used on this. Oh, this is eternal. Let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and turn this off Right all right, so we turn that off. This is eternal um, Part of the eternal mod this is tech generator for eternal mod So we got our, our little nooks and crannies and stuff. We got the little bedroom thing here. So the main like I said the main Mods that were used to make this build is Ecos uh, for some of the small decoration stuff Which actually let me go down here and tell you exactly what Ecos mod we used for this uh, This is the main floor isn't it? Nope. We need the second floor. Oh god Still still very very out of control. Um, so we use this mostly the Ecos garden decor it's got the stained glass in it. It's got a few other things in it, like the uh, little trees, the little bonsai trees, and stuff like that. But S plus castles and keep castles, keeps and forges, and uh, ecos is pretty much the majority of things that are in here. You can see we did the little guys off to the side on both sides of that um, area, and then we had hid head. We hid the tech storage inside of this room. We used this uh, tech transmitter to kind of shoot up right through the middle of the build, which I think gives a little bit of a cool effect. And we have another little room over here, you know, just a little stuff going on. Nothing major, like I said, the, uh, the inside of it isn't anything that's going to knock your socks off. Other than just size, I mean, at this point, you can definitely tell it's, it's a big build. And one of those things. One of the things in here that I did get extremely happy with was this uh, stained glass drop ceiling. Man, I can't talk today. Stained glass dropped ceiling right here, which I thought turned out really good. We got again just little bits and pieces kind of in here, and then not a whole lot. But you know, there's other rooms that really aren't being utilized for much of anything. I mean, if I did want to do some craziness in here, there's plenty of room to do anything that I would want to do. But for the most part, this was mostly a creative build for the structure and not really for interior decoration. You know what I mean? Now, I did have to get a little bit cheaty in here. I wanted to do spiral stairs up for the fourth floor. However, um, they would not line up with everything being kind of going through that. So we did a tech elevator right there. So this is the fourth floor. In the fourth floor, we have our little taxidermy stand creatures going back into the manticore. And then on the middle here, we've got the old Rex bone. And then over here, we've got our little 
lineup of uh, army men slash, uh, you know, like armor stands coming back into this Gaia tribute kind of deal. So that is the interior for the most part. We do have a little room off to the side here as well. Um, like I said, the interior is not going to win any awards. It's nothing like super fancy, but I think it works for what it is in general so then you know we got these these little touches like this and stuff so we're gonna come out here and we're gonna actually go around the outside of the build so this will be the main entrance on this level um the main entrance on this level we did some more taxidermy stuff going into the main entrance and as you can see it's a rather large build it took a lot of time right so just from that level and kind of see where you're at. We're going to go ahead and go up all the way up to the top. Tippy tippy top. So we have, uh, yeah, we have the four large main tower structures. And then in the rear here in the middle, we have the uh, floating tower structure, which took a little bit of work. It took a little S plus glass um, and stuff to get that to work out. But we have those three little archways all on all four towers. Suspending that last tower in the middle, I gotta say I'm rather happy with how that turned out. We're gonna go ahead and kind of just rotate around the build here to the main entrance on the bottom floor. So what we got here, I mean, like I said, like I said, we got a lot of tower stuff here. Um, the rear entrance, we're gonna go and take a look just at the back of this build here and then we're gonna go down to the main entrance in the rear and check that out so the funny thing is is the uh, arc limitation is uh, it's kind of interesting when it comes to uh, building so you can get what 15,750 structures uh, I broke that I actually had to get VT to increase the uh, structure count on that on this build. Like I was well over sixteen thousand in the middle of the of the castle, so we had to increase that. We did again a lot of the taxidermy. We got the bosses coming in. I thought this looked kind of cool because it kind of looked like he was grabbing the rail. Kind of worked out pretty well. We got the brood mother over here going crazy. All right, the bottom here is usable but is empty um, currently. Whoop. Wee. And we have the statues again from Eternal on each of those little locations. So, like I said, it's it's empty, but it's usable space if you would so, if somebody would so desire to use it. I really don't have any reason to, so I did not. So then we're gonna come up in here. This is of course these towers to the main entrance. Come up in here. You have the little Rex stand in here, and then we are back to uh, just basically inside. I'm very, very pleased with the way that the build came out as far as, um, in general, just in general, I think it actually turned out really nicely. It was a bit of a trip to do some of the things, um, just some little trickiness that had to happen, but we're going to let this turn night here because I want you guys to see the red glow from the Gaia, um, lanterns as it were all right guys so nighttime has fallen you guys can see it is really lighting up those uh, red torches from Gaia are really lighting it up I think it really looks <laughs> kind of menacing but uh, really awesome at the same point in time you can see how that light comes up straight up into the middle tower which I think is a pretty cool touch um, but yeah like I I love how this lights up at night like I think it looks really kind of insane so we're just gonna come in close to it here a little bit more get a little bit more centered here you guys can see it um, really really happy with the build guys I hope you enjoyed um, enjoyed everything I was really worried about the back end of this build like I consider this the back end when I first was doing the build everything in the front was pretty much done and this was just flat So it kind of kind of got me a little bit messed up. I think the back turned out amazing. Actually, it looks more like the front now, I think, than what the front does. So there is that. 
So we're just going to slowly rotate around this build. I really hope this video shows um, shows everything as good as uh, as it looks or better than it looks in my uh, in my what I'm able to see. But I'll tell you what, this has been a blast. I'm really happy the VT let me get on the server and do this build. Um, I say it's a creative build, but I mean it was actually we went and we gathered you know <laughs> gathered resources, built and everything. Didn't have any uh, didn't have any freebies. So, definitely it took a long time, but it was an amazing time. Had a great time with it. Got a lot of ideas for the next build that I do if I ever do another Castles and Keep build. And we will go from there for sure, guys. But, uh, thank you. Thank you for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the build as much as I enjoyed building it. Oh, look at the moons coming down. We might have to back up and take a look at that here in a second. You know what I'm saying? Just to just to soak it in. But yeah, I hopefully I'll do a little bit more um, YouTube stuff when I do builds. I'm looking to do a possible wood build out of S Plus on a server somewhere. I haven't decided where as of yet. It's one of those feast or famine things. We've got a lot of stuff going on on Ethos, which is the extended family of streamers. That's a group that I'm in and part of. Um, and we have ARC servers there. VT Nation's got ARC servers. We got, uh, got good friends that have them everywhere. And, you know, it's like, it's feast or famine. Either you, either you get it, you know, a point where there's like one or none going on. Or sometimes you just, sometimes they're all over the place. So you just don't know what to do. But, guys, I want to say thank you very much for chilling out with me, uh, today. Thanks for checking out the video. And, uh, hope to see you guys around.